This conference will now be recorded. Yeah. <clears throat> Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. So you got the recordings, right, everyone? Oh, yes. Thank you. So today we'll talk about roll up summary. Okay. Today we'll talk about roll up summary. Okay. What is a roll up summary? Okay. What is a roll up summary? Okay. So roll up summary is going to become as a, a read only field. Roll up summary is going to become as a, a read only field. Okay. So what is a roll up summary? A roll up summary is going to become as a read only field. Okay. So by using roll up summary, by using roll up summary. Okay. So we can perform some minimum, maximum and count. Okay. So by using roll up summary, we can perform some minimum, maximum and count. Okay. So what is roll up summary? <clears throat> so roll up summary is going to become as a read only one. Okay. Roll up summary is going to become as a <clears throat> read only one. By using roll up summary, we can perform some minimum, maximum, and then count. Okay. So by using roll up summary, we can perform some minimum, maximum, and count. Okay. By using roll up summary, we can perform some minimum, maximum. And count okay. So the roll up summary can be performed in between two tables whose relationship is a master detail relationship. Hmm. Now, <clears throat> so roll up summary can be performed in between two tables whose details is master detail relationship. Okay. By using <clears throat> means we can perform roll up summary in between two tables whose relationship is a master detail relationship. Master detail relationship. And and from the parent object we can perform roll up summary from the parent object okay <clears throat> so by using roll up summary we can do sum minimum maximum and count sum minimum maximum and count okay by using roll up summary we can perform sum minimum maximum and 
count so now <clears throat> i want to take a scenario here okay so this particular employee how many bills that he has been sold out okay a particular employee how many bills that he has been sold out till today okay and then i want to see a particular employee from like let's say if he sold 10 bills from 10 bills so every bill bill has a bill amount right so all the bill amounts i want to calculate and i want to show the total number of bill amount okay and then and then from the all the bills what is the highest bill amount that he has been sold out and what is the least discount that he has been given so what i want to perform i want to perform four things total number of bills total number of bill amount and then highest bill highest bill amount and then least discount that he has been given if you look at bill is a separate table employee is a separate table right bill is a separate table employee is a separate table okay but still i am expecting to see the data in a employed employee so when i open employee record i want to see so this particular employee how many bills that he has been sold out the total number of bill amount what is the highest bill that he has been sold out and the least discount that he has been given so this can be done with the help of a roll up summary okay this can be done with the help of roll up summary so what is a roll up summary a roll up summary is going to be performed in between two tables whose detail whose uh, relationship is a master detail relationship from the parent object we can define a roll up summary by using roll up summary we can do some minimum maximum and count so when you try to create a record it will not allow you to enter any value once we save the record the value will come up that is what roll up read only feed okay while we create a record it will not allow you to enter any value when once we save the record the value will come okay that is what read only field okay so we have seen yesterday uh, the relationships in between uh, employee and bill as a master detail right if you want to have a look uh, let me show you one second master detail in between bill and employee okay so from parent object employee only we can define roll up summary if you want to test go to setup go to object manager go to bill object let's say if i want to perform from bill so roll up summary is going to be kept as a field only okay so click new see it's not enabled right it's disabled right okay so go to object manager Mm, go to employee object. Go to fields and relationship. Click new. 
select roll up summary okay next it so i'll say total number of bills okay total number of bills nothing but count next <clears throat> so what is the summarized object that you want to summarize okay so i want to summarize it with bill okay i want to summarize with the bill you can select the what do you want to do you want to do count sum minimum maximum you want to do a count sum minimum maximum okay I want to go with a count because I want to do count total number of total number of bills. So now while you do perform, you want to perform on all the records or only particular records. All the records, only particular records. Let's say if you want to do a particular records, I want to count the bill amount whose equal to 1 lakh and whose product is the bill product is let's say TV okay and the discount given 10% okay whose product name is a TV like that you can go but I don't want to go I, I want to go with uh, all the records because we don't have much records right so we can go with the condition wise or and all the records you can go so conditions we can go with the on the particular object whatever the fields are there on that we can go okay clear next Click next and then save. Let's do other also. Total number of bill amounts. Select the roll up summary. Click next. I'll say total number of bill amount. Next. Summarize with bill object sum sum of what I want to do sum of sum of bill amount right sum of bill amount okay <coughs> I want to do sum of bill amount okay <coughs> sum of bill amount okay and then on all the records okay next <clears throat> next click next save only so now i want to take the highest bill that we have been sold out the per person has been sold out roll up summary click next select the <coughs> maximum bill amount maximum bill amount and then next maximum <clears throat> next 
and then minimum discount so now <clears throat> let's create some bills records and then map to employees okay now for example if you create a bill record now employee record let's see let's add on the list view So now, <clears throat> so let's create some records, okay, and map to. So now I am creating a record. Now I am creating a record. If I save, see those fields will come. Okay, those are read only fields. See the total number of bills, total number of bill amount, maximum bill amount, minimum discount. Because we have not mapped any bills, so that's why it shows everything is a zero. So this is what read only field means. When you try to create a record, it will not allow you to enter any value, right? When you try to create a record, it will not enter any value. Once we save the record, the value will come. Okay. So now so let's map some uh, uh, bills to that employees go to bills so click new bill We are getting some records. <clears throat> See, so now go to employee. See, it's not coming, just refresh. So total three bills this much amount is sold out this is the highest bill minimum discount okay like that any questions on roll up summary any questions so we covered here okay
okay then security we have to start okay so tomorrow we'll start security actually this week i had some early login that's why uh, yeah but next week onwards we'll uh, we'll take one hour class okay so that uh, another two weeks maximum another two weeks we'll try to wind up uh <clears throat> just make a note monday i'm not available okay so i'm on vacation monday i'm not available so you'll be getting a long weekend uh, friday sorry saturday sunday monday again we will take a class on tuesday okay tuesday we'll take the class again monday i'm not available i'm telling so that you can plan <clears throat> okay so tomorrow we'll start security okay uh, sir, how long will these recordings uh, be available in in our emails? Download. Why you are waiting? Download. No, sir, the thing is, I won't be available like during Thanksgiving at that one day. So when you send it, I won't be able to, you know, download it. So I hope it stays there for some time. It will be there for one, one, two months, but, uh, one, two months. Okay. but you download download okay oh, when you click yeah. it will ask you to download uh -huh. please download yeah sure so you need to open <clears throat> there is a download button will be there uh -huh. here right yeah download it okay Any questions, guys? I'm good so far. Okay. Okay. So note down. Monday we are not available. Okay. Yeah. Tomorrow we'll have a class. Tomorrow we'll start second. Okay. Thank Bye. you. Thank you.